Let's talk about upgrading the firmware for the Phantom 3 series. And how we do that is basically you download the firmware package from the DJI website. Make sure you get the correct one. There's a firmware package for professional and another one for the advanced model. I downloaded the professional model and I've taken it and what you do is extract the zip file to the root directory of your chip that goes inside the Phantom. Then you're going to take that, after you've extracted the files onto it, you're going to insert it into the Phantom gimbal, as such there, and make sure first that your battery has at least 50% power, and you're going to turn this on. And when you turn it on, it's going to go into a long firmware upgrade mode. I'll show you that process. So, that noise you hear is the firmware upgrading and that will continue for quite some time. You can probably still hear the Phantom 3 upgrading the firmware in the background. I've moved it out into the hallway to make this easier. The same firmware package also has the upgrade for the Phantom Remote Controller on it. So what you should do is extract the same package into the root directory of a blank USB drive or any USB drive that doesn't have a bin file in the directory. And um, then you're going to take it, and let's show you what we do here. On the back of the remote controller where you plug in the cable for your device, there's a USB port, and you're going to plug that USB package into it right there and turn on the remote controller as you normally would. And this will put this into a firmware upgrade routine as well. That should take about 10 minutes, they say. The Phantom 3 professional uh, upgrade takes about 25 minutes according to the DJI uh, information. So if this is working correctly, which it hopefully will, there we go. So now this one's going to make noise and upgrade its firmware for 25 minutes. If you can tolerate all of the noises that are made by the firmware upgrades, then you're going to be better off. We know that the remote controller firmware is upgraded completely and successfully because it shows a solid steady green light at the end of the process. My upgrade took approximately a minute and DJI said it takes 10. The Phantom. Now that we're hearing the beep, 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 that signifies that the firmware upgrade is complete, let's recycle the power on the aircraft. Turn it around here, give it one push and a long push. That turns it off just like all the other DJI aircraft. Oops. And let's turn it back on again. We'll show you what the camera looks like when we're doing that. Turn this back on. We'll turn the remote controller on. And it looks like we're ready to fly. We'll test it out now and see how it goes.